everyone, this is Lord Magicus, and we're playing more uh, Simic Merfolk and Historic. So, yep, we got our list here. Um, yep, same as every other day, so let's go get into our matches. Get our traditional Historic ranked going. If you notice, it says the deck name is Water Horsey Blues, and... If you've been paying attention, like, all of the merfolk decks that I play are named after songs from Metalocalypse, so the historic one is Water Horsey Blues. That's what I go with. <laughs> like, every format gets a different uh, name. Like, the Is It one for modern is Blood Ocean. All right, come on, let's go. We want to play. We're not want to sit here and look all day. All right, whoops, I'll turn that. Down. All right, we got ourselves a match versus Victor Brasil. We are going to be on the play. Uh, I have to mulligan this. This hand we can keep. We'll just put a land in the bottom. I think this is fine. We'll get away with this. We'll put this on the bottom. Ooh, mulliganing to four? Are we up against, like, the throws, the trickery deck? Feels like that's what's going on. Okay, well, they just gave up. You know, this had to be some sort of stupid combo deck, right? So, probably, what, Counterspells and Relic of Regenitus are what we want here. If I had to take a wild guess... That seems fine. Um, I need to take out three more cards. Usually versus these sort of decks, you want to stay very low on the curve. Take out one glass pool here. Could play company, but I want to hold up things at flash speed, so... The reason we're going to bring in Relic is if this, this is the Throws of Chaos deck, you want to counter the first one and then also have Relic to crack to exile it so they can't do it again. So that's why we're doing this. I'm just assuming that's the deck that we went up against based on how many times he mulligan. So maybe this is correct, maybe this is not. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, this hand's fine, right? Assuming that we know what's going on here. Harn's Bastion. Okay, well, maybe we're not right. Well, still, the, den the denial should be okay. Okay. So maybe they just had really fucking bad mulligans. Uh, but this should be fine, because this turn, we should just be able to... Denial and counter a spell. Yeah, absolutely not. So we're not too far off, but the relic is not something that we particularly need here, so. Well, that actually is pretty good. Um, I'm just playing Island and Pass. If they don't do anything, I'll just flash in Trickster. If they just. Uh, I can't do anything about that, so. We'll just trade this for a card. Not bad. So this costs 7 mana, so I think they can't actually do this this turn. Um, yeah, we don't want them having that either. That's bad. Fuck, this is not getting better. Alright. I need them to just not do something for a turn. Uh, still can't have them having that. 
that adds like a bajillion mana to their mana pool. Alright, I guess... I, I, I kind of want to take Silvergill, but I think that I need to take the two Lords. Because that's the only way to get this powerful enough to actually attack through. And now we just have to hope that they miss on a turn. Well, that's not great. They just kept slamming, like, multiple haymakers, so. Um. So this thing is definitely has to die, right? So we have to attack it with two things. Uh, I, they're definitely going to block one of the mist binders so like if i just attack it with a trickster they'll block with golos and keep it alive so if i attack with multiple things they'll block a mist binder so i think the correct thing to do send both mist binders here in the anticipation one of them is going to die and then trickster goes at their face yeah i'm gonna play the commander speaker and then pass. We'll just hold the breeding pool. There's not really... We don't need to play it here. We have way too many lands as it is. Well, they have the extra lands now. Oof. Alright. I think we're fucked. <laughs> we did okay for being on the draw, but they had way too many, like, haymakers way too early. Uh, no, I'm not going to block... They're just going to play another Golos here. Is there anything that I can do to win right now? Even if I draw Collected Company and tap this thing down, maybe I'd have to find, like, Company into Trickster into a Lord, probably, so that I can kill off the Planeswalkers with, yeah, get past Golos. That's still, like, that's a tall order. Nope, Meteor Golem. Alright, we're dead. I can't stabilize against this. Alright, so... So these relics are pretty useless. So what do I want back instead? Uh, Reclamation Sage actually is really good here. Uh, Spaloon? It's okay. I think actually the Regeries because they they can tap down everything. We'll do it like that. So I just had a really bad mulligan game one, apparently. Just maybe just like couldn't find any lands or something. So we'll be on the play. Uh this hand's pretty bad. This hand is also really bad. Now it's our turn to just have infinitely bad mulligans. I don't think this match is terribly great for us. I think that it's actually, like, more in their favor. Because they're just going to spam, like, a Karn in turn 3 almost all the time. So they have both Mindstone and Guardian Idol to help them get there. Their end game is really hard to beat. This is like Tron, except we don't have, like, Spreading Seas or Force of Negation to help us. We have to, and we don't even have Ether Vial against it either, which is normally like one of the ways that you can help beat them. All right, to keep this. Um... I guess I don't like this at all. I kind of need to keep this denial, but I. I don't really like putting the Lord in the bottom, but I don't have a better alternative right now. Because I need to be able to have the Denial up and the Trickster up. Hmm. 
And I think here if they play an idol, I might just counter it. Or that. That's probably worth countering here. Because it still buys me a full turn anyway. And this actually still buys me another full turn as well. Because I can trickster a land in there next turn. I guess we're just hoping they don't have another land. Like, even if they play a Planeswalker, it's not that bad. That's kind of bad, though. So we want a land, right? Oh, that's pretty good, too. Because we can just kill off the stupid Mystic Forge right now. Stop them from getting a million cards. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely killing that. Alright, maybe. May we have hope here. There's lots of ways for us to win this game now. Okay, there's Golos. So I think if we draw a Merfolk, we win, right? Or a land. Like a land or a Merfolk. Um... That might do it, right? I think. Alright, cool. Got there. Game three. That was that was impressive. Um we we're a little bit short today, so we'll we'll do another one. So that's only about twelve minutes. Awesome. What do we get? Um, the Blood Ski Massacre. Okay. I'm probably never going to play this card in this format. Alright. Let's go. Uh, traditional Historic Ranked. We're making some pretty good progress. Have we lost at all? I don't think so. Fuck. Our, yeah, we're doing really good. Oh, fuck. It's the, we're going up against the same guy again. Well... <laughs> We spoke too soon now because uh, we know what we're up against now, so at least can potentially keep a better hand. That's stupid. Why would it pair us with the other person we just played against? No, that, that's... I don't want to play the same match twice in a row. Whatever. I don't have any choice in the matter. Uh, sure, this hand's fine. We just go scout, and I think we pitch the Kamena Speaker to get a land. So then we can, you know, curve up to our Redream Spaloon. Actually, now it's more tempting to pitch the other Shoreline Scout. I need them not to play a two-mana rock. All right, well, they have one, so. Okay, I guess, yeah, we're playing a lord. All right, why not? So here goes Karn. Uh, unfortunately for the for this guy, we can just play Regery here and kill off Karn. We're just gonna have more lords than he's gonna have things.
Oh, that's actually really good. Um, if I can just kill it with Trickster and attack with everything else, right? I don't know. No, that was I. I should have untapped my. Uh, breeding pool so I can play the speaker. Yeah, I don't think it's going to matter. I think we're just going to kill him anyway. You know, it actually might be better to have it in hand anyway, because then we can just play Spaloon plus Kamena Speaker and tap two things down in any case. So, I, it, it was actually maybe fine to not do that. So we want Dispute here, and I think we want Reclamation Sage. Knowing that... Spaloon is probably not what we're looking for in this matchup. Um, yeah, if we're taking out that. We have seven. Yeah, maybe we can cut one glass pool. That's fine. We'll do it like this. Okay, well, we won game one. So they mulligan to five again, right? I think that, that helped us a lot. So we get two shots to try to, to clinch this. I think keeping the curve low is the key to this. Like, if you, They can play a Planeswalker, but if you have two creatures in the field already when they do that, their Planeswalker is probably going to die. And then, so you can get rid of it pretty easily. Um, this is actually interesting. So, I can keep this, but if I do, I probably have to pitch the Merfolk Trickster, right? So, I would, uh, turn three, be playing Reclamation Sage, probably. I think this is keepable. I think we are probably pitching Trickster here, so. Yeah. Getting to three mana is going to be a big deal. Maybe we'll save the Rex Sage for Golos. Uh, well, if they play the Idol this turn, yeah, they can't really do a whole lot about it. I just have to hold up uh, Denial here. And then we'll play, e we'll either hold up Dispute or start playing Reclamation Sage. Interesting. Um, I think I want to counter that. It's worth two cards, so. And again, we're still in a spot where if they play like a Karn or something, we actually can kill it pretty easily. And we still have a Sage to clean up after it. It's not ideal, but it's still fine. Okay. I see. Uh, they, I guess they're setting up for like Ugin or something here. Um, What could happen? Uh, they could play like land plus Forsaken Monument. I could hold up Dispute for something that they're going to do this turn. Could blow up their Hedron Archive. But if they play Monument, that's going to be really bad. I guess that's okay because we still have a Glass Pool Mimic. So even if they like played Monument, I'll just play Mimic and copy the Sage. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, so like, 
this seems fine. Now they're like, if they can't afford to do that again, so we got it. Reclamation Sage for the win. There we go. So today was, uh, for, today was, uh, what, the colorless day? So played against it twice in a row against the same opponent. We got to platinum tier. All right, so things are probably going to start getting a lot harder now. That would be my assumption. All right, what do we get? Creative Outburst. Oh, yeah, I play this card in the, the trickery deck, don't I? Yeah, yeah. So, there we go. That's our matches for today. I hope everybody had a good time watching this. Please leave some comments. I want to hear from you. I haven't heard any from anybody in the comment section for a while. So, please, like the videos. I need your thumbs up. I need your support. I need your love. All right? Dollars don't help me. Love does. All right? <laughs> um yeah i don't ask for money i just want attention that's all <laughs> so every yeah leave me some nice comments i will definitely read them um i appreciate them always so thanks everyone i'll see you again tomorrow